Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. Um, this is the first in a series of advanced Java tutorials on user interface programming in Java. And to create user interfaces in Java, we can use the Swing user interface toolkit, which is built into the Java, the JDK. And in this tutorial, I'm going to create a really minimal Swing application and we're going to build it up from scratch. So I've got a public class app here with a main method and I'm going to start by using the JFrame class. So JFrame is a swing class and I'll say JFrame equals new JFrame and this JFrame is the main window of our application so you'll, you'll typically have just one of these in every swing program. I'll press Control shift o to add the relevant input here and in here I can specify a title for the frame so I'll say hello world swing. Now if I run this application it will run but the J frame would be invisible which is no use at all of course. So to make it visible I have to say frame.set visible true if I run this, I get this frame, but it, firstly it's tiny and there's also another defect because if I click the cross in the corner to close it, the application doesn't actually terminate. You can see that it's still running here. So I'll click the terminate button in Eclipse to get rid of it. And the first thing I'll do is I'll make it terminate when I click the cross in the corner of the frame. I'll say frame dot set default close operation. And here I'll pass it a static constant from the JFrame class, jframe.exit on close. So now if I run it and I click the cross, the application terminates. There's also, as you might guess, a set size. So I can say set size and I'll set it to width of 500 and a height of 400. So now I have quite a presentable looking basic frame for my application. It's got the title in there and it quits when I click the cross. But there's still um, a problem here that isn't readily apparent, which is that frame at, um, Swing actually likes to manage its own special thread. And there's a, a special Swing method that creates a Swing thread and you actually have to run this code in that thread. So to do that, I'm going to use swing utilities dot invoke later. Now, invoke later will run my swing code in the special swing thread, and it expects a class that implements the runnable interface. So to do that quickly here, I'll type new runnable and then open a curly bracket, press return, Eclipse puts in the closing curly bracket and then I need to um, implement the public void run method that this interface specifies and I'm going to put all this code in the run method. Now if I run this, a hey presto, I've got a beautiful, perfect but very minimal swing app so that's all for this tutorial and um, in the next tutorial we will look at adding stuff um, onto this frame here. You can find this source code on caveofprogramming.com. Join me again for the next tutorial and until then, happy coding!